But for now, that we are finally in Witchwood, we can go do something. We can go do a thing. First of all, I want to check on my... How many potions do I got? 37 health potions, that's what I thought. 37 health potions, 5 will potions. Okay. If I can get some more will potions, we'll go ahead and do the hob cave. But I want to have at least 10 of them before I go in there and do that. Because otherwise, it's going to suck. Because I am going to be chugging will potions like a mofo. Like Need ridiculous. Need a good sort of fight beside you. Hi, Mr. Hook. Um... But yeah, that was the Temple of Avo. We're never going to go in there. There's nothing in there for us that's important. But, if you'll see here, there is a sword in a stone. And as you might figure, this is the sort of legend that the Guildmaster was talking about. So get out of the way and let me redeem my sword, please. Please, leave. 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 Fingers crossed. Let's see what the hero can do. <laughs> that Hugh sure knew what he was doing. Better luck when you try next. <laughs> we tried pulling the sword out of the stone, and it didn't work. We have to go back to the guild now, because trying to pull it out of the bleh, trying to pull it out of the stone was a twer. I can't talk. Oh my god. Ugh. Trying to pull it out of the stone was a trigger. It was half of the formula we need to actually get the weapon. After you attempt to pull the sword out of the stone the first time, you need to go back to the guild. We're gonna run over here to the trainer, and hopefully I'm gonna have enough experience to do this, because otherwise it's gonna really suck. Let me double check to make sure I've got the numbers right. Okay. We need to level up health twice, toughness three times, and physique the rest of the way. Okay. I think we're good, because now we have physique level 5, health level 2, and toughness level 3. Yes. And suddenly we're bigger, <laughs> because that's what happens when you spend points in strength and stuff. So let's hearth the hearth hearth back to the Temple of Avo and try to get that sword again. Oh, yes. Move. Let me have the sword. I want the sword. Give me this. Give me. Oh, give me. Yes. Give me, this, give me this sword. Wonderful. Sword place. Sword place. Sword place. Sword place. Get your grubby paws off of my weapon. Thank you very much. That's my sword. My sword. My sword. Give me my sword. Oh my God, give me my sword. Yes. Go on. You can do it. <gasps> wow, you're as strong as a giant. Wait until the chief hears about this. Indeed. We have the Harbinger, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Is it the Harbinger? Uh, let me see. Yeah, the Harbinger. This longsword is forged, was forged by the twins Elda and Essa after its creation. They used it to cut each other's heads off each other's hands. Not heads, but that's stupid. Ensuring the world would never see another weapon like it. Um, it has sharpening and piercing and does 198 damage per hit. 30 more than the Cutlass Blue Tane. This here weapon is fantastic. It's probably the best in the game, actually. Um, also, with our physique finally being leveled up, we are going to be doing a lot more damage in melee combat, meaning I'm probably going to enter melee combat a fair bit more often. So, yeah. Now that we've got this, we can head back to the guild and see what's up with the quests there. Um, yep. 
And I should also mention, I think this sword is the best light weapon in the game, as far as I remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure I used this sword into in-game in the last file I played through, but it is not the best light weapon in the game. It's just going to take us the rest of the way. So, let me see here if we can level anything else up. Now we don't have to worry about the, the physical thing. The only reason we were delaying putting any points in uh, physical abilities was specifically so we could do what we just did. Um, it was that important. Alright. Let's see here. Magic multi-arrow level 2. Let's go ahead and take multi-arrow level 2. We're also going to take... We can get multi strike level two. That'd be really awesome. Mm, no, we can't get multi strike level two. Multi arrow level two is really good though. So now that that's done, let's check the table, and we have a lot of stuff here to pick from. We have rescue all three of the traitors held captive in the bandit camp, which is going to probably be a lot of murder. Don't really know how that's going to go. That's one of the new um, side missions they added in the um, DLC. Or, sorry, the Lost Chapters. But I think Hobcave is easier than that one. And let's go ahead and try to do Hobcave. I think I can do it with five will potions, surely. If I can't do it with five will potions, I just, I'm bad. <laughs> All right. Um, we're definitely not going to do no protection. We're going to do... Without a scratch. Cave Dweller. And... Protect Boy. That one's going to be the rough one for us. Because in order to protect the boy, I'm going to have to really be careful with my mana consumption. Because I'm going to have to use slow time to murder everything You're the man for the job. very quickly. But now that we have this really awesome sword here, all these hobs should Follows. be... What the heck? I didn't mean to do that. Why? I don't want anything to follow me. Stop! I just want to use my guild seal. Am I going to have to hotkey this stupid guild seal because the game keeps flipping it out with other things? I don't remember it used to doing that. It's like a new annoyance. Hang on. Right. Gotta navigate all these stupid menus, apparently. Alright, we're gonna have to somehow do this with five will potions, which is gonna be really hard. Uh, maybe not hard, just like... Ugh. If we're good, we can probably handle it. Alright. Into Rose Cottage. One out of three boats. I'm pretty sure... If I can, if I can ration my potions appropriately, James, this won't be too bad. Is that you? Oh, James is my grandson. You have to find him. He's the only relative I have left. Such a sweet, helpful boy. I don't know how I'd manage without him. I knew this would happen. He's gone back to those caves. I just know. He got quite a scare for the things he saw down there last time, I can tell you. But he did bring back some gold. Oh, and he found something else while he was there. I don't know what it's for, but it might be useful. Here. That's actually not used for anything. Please find Funny him. enough. I don't know what I would do if anything happened to him. That, like, they look like they would fit into the hexagon door locks down there, but all of those doors are already unlocked, so it's like... Why is this even a thing? Okay, I think we've already dug here. That would have been something for our spade to do. And I'm really hoping this quest goes well, because... yeah. We don't have a lot of mana. And there are no traders on the roads for some reason. I think the game's just spiting me.